Hi, I'm Mike Killebrew. I'm City of Dana Point Assistant City Manager. Uh, been asked to sit on this Health and Safety Committee here at Dana Hills High School. Hi, I'm Kelly Crecker Lewis. I am a health educator at the National Council on Alcoholism and Drug Dependence of Orange County. And I work specifically on the Underage Drinking Prevention Project. Hello, my name is Emily Lobo. I also work at National Council on Alcoholism and Drug Independence. My name is Katie Anderson and I'm a member of the Dana Hills High School PTSA. Hi, I'm Deputy Matt Timmons with the Orange County Sheriff's Department. I'm the re school resource officer here at Dana Hills High School. Hi, my name is Sherry Madrid and I'm the mom of a student here at Dana Hills High School. Um, my name is Mike Darnold. Um, I am under contract with the City of Dana Point. All my friends did it because it was cool. I joined them so that I would fit in. My parents don't even know that I'm vaping. I've even ditched class or taken a pass to go vape. I can't even go to the restroom without having to deal with people vaping there. I didn't know how easy it was to get a vape mod. I may be under 18, but I need to vape. I didn't think it would be addicting. It's juice, and I can't stop. It isn't fair to us teens and kids that they advertise and convince us that vaping is okay. Vaping companies trick us by putting comforting, attractive pictures that look harmless when they are actually a trap. I'm even sneaking out of my house so I can vape and not get caught. I'm really sorry I started vaping. Now I can't stop. Vaping may seem safer than smoking a real cigarette. However, people are failing to realize that they're inhaling many toxic chemicals, cancer-causing chemicals. Kids are getting all their information online, and they think that they've got all the answers. Back then, people believed smoking cigarettes was okay. But now we have people saying it's okay to vape. Yet, we fail to realize that we are inhaling toxic chemicals. Not only are teens vaping, but parents too. Just having the juice around the house is a major issue. The vapor may seem safe, but it actually isn't. Only a tiny sip can kill a kid in 20 minutes. Everyone is vaping. It's literally everywhere. E-cigarettes have been proven to effectively prevent immune systems from doing their job. 